I was attracting a lot of views on LinkedIn and I was getting solicited. And I went through a few interviews and all of them I was clearing really well right until the last moment. The last one I had to make a presentation to different companies and they were ready to bend all kinds of rules for me. So that did not happen. These were the major ones that I wasn't clearing it in the last moment. Right up till then, I was there. Well, you know, the business stakeholder they were trying to speak to me and they were very, very impressed and they were trying to have a conversation and I was freezing. I was just answering questions and I was shutting off. And they were like perplexed. They wanted to have that leadership conversation and I'm doing all the interviews well. But then when I was deep diving into my interviews and I was analyzing them, that's where I found out that I am not coming across as a thought leader. I already have all these experiences. I already have all of these things. But then the beauty of you guys were actually pulling me out of that shell and you know shining the spotlight and telling me that all this is right underneath your feet. Just look down and look at the light there. It was a matter of representing that and having that conversation at a leadership level, you need to be able to bring that thought leadership and you have that thought leadership. You just need to present it. The whole mechanism works. This is where you need to change. This is where you need to tweak you know, for anybody is to do a self-diagnostic with you in terms of an interview. And then you will be able to exactly pinpoint the approach that you need to take is to ask them the approach is, how can I help you guys? The mindset that a candidate goes in is basically something else. You guys change that entire mindset. That I would say is very, very helpful. Having that self-diagnostic and trusting the process, the process works.